Good afternoon everybody. It's three o'clock on Friday the 3rd of April 2020 and if we were in school now we would be in our celebration assembly for our Friday collective worship. Along with all of the staff I've missed you very much over the last two weeks so I thought it might be nice to record a short video so that you can be involved in some collective worship at home. I have lit a candle just like we light our candles every day in collective worship and if we were in school this week, our theme for collective worship would have been hope. Now, I think that's a really appropriate theme with everything that's going on at the moment. And you will know from previous acts of collective worship that hope is about wanting something to happen. You might be hoping to see some family members that you haven't seen for a while. You might be hoping to see some friends that you haven't seen for quite a few weeks. You might be hoping that school reopens soon. And you might be hoping that people who are unwell get better. And also probably hoping that all the people who are working incredibly hard, putting others before themselves, hoping that they have the strength to continue doing what they're doing. During collective worship at St Matthew's, we often have a story or a picture or a song to help us think about our theme for that week. I've seen lots of images of hope recently. You might have taken part in the round of applause for the NHS workers. You might see some rainbows around in people's windows. Maybe you've drawn a rainbow to go in your window as a symbol of hope. And I read something yesterday that made me think about hope and our school vision. And it was a quote I read by a man called Bishop Desmond Tutu. And he said, hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. You might feel at the moment that there is a lot of darkness, that we can't do the things that we normally do, we can't go out and about and be part of our normal routines and see the people that we normally see, but hope is light and things will change and this situation will come to an end. In Celebration Assembly, we celebrate the achievements that people have made that week. We might celebrate somebody's perseverance with a piece of work or a challenge that they've really given a good go at. We might celebrate an act of kindness that somebody has seen from another pupil. We might celebrate somebody's achievements in PE. Maybe they could start to do something that they couldn't do before. Have you done anything that you think would go in the book of praise this week? Or is there anyone that you live with that has done something really kind or something very special that you could put in the Book of Praise. When we have celebrated everybody in the Book of Praise for that week, we then celebrate birthdays. And if you have a birthday over the next two weeks, I hope you have a really lovely time. And I'm sure that everybody in St Matthew's wishes you lots of special birthday wishes. When we celebrated our birthdays, we then pull names out of the little blue pots for every class to see who has won a book for that week. I wonder if you are going to read anything new over the Easter holidays or do you have a really favourite book that you might reread and enjoy again? At the end of our celebration assembly we always say our school prayer and I'm going to say that now and you can join in too if you'd like to. Dear God, help us in our work each day, give us concentration so that we may listen understanding so that we may learn and peaceful minds so that we may remember. In God's name, Amen. So I hope you do have a lovely Easter. Stay safe and I'll be in touch again after the holidays. Bye bye.